Hey, this is Mike Pope coming to you from my studio. Um, I made a, a video of myself playing recently and I got a lot of nice compliments about my sound. And I got to thinking that, you know, when you play an electric instrument, your amp is a big part of your sound. Uh, and so I wanted to offer some advice about how to dial that in. The first thing that I'd like to talk about is something called gain structure. And if you're wondering what gain is, gain is just basically more volume. You're gaining volume. Setting up your gain structure is really just the process of using each component in your signal chain uh, uh, to maximize the benefit of its signal-to-noise ratio and its dynamic range. Music is very emotional. It uses all emotions, and one of the best ways to convey that is with dynamics. Um, so let's talk about how to make that happen uh, with, I'm going to use my Bullhead 1K from Trickfish because this is the preamp that I designed and I know it really well. Before I even get into the amp, I'll say that don't go too crazy with your onboard preamp. Um, set everything flat so that when you make the adjustments to the amp to get your sound, you'll get it right and then you can make subtle adjustments on your bass and you're not constantly turning around to play with your amplifier while you're on the gig. Okay? So, getting to the Bullhead 1K. I have my bass here and I have my amp here, so I'll show you how I go about setting up my gain structure on, on this amp. Okay, so when you turn on the Bullhead 1K, it comes up in mute, meaning all the outputs are muted, and it comes up with a pad engaged. The pad reduces the amount of gain that you get from the amp at the very front end. So what I would normally do is uh, leave it in mute, and you'll see, if you look here carefully, that, that while I play, the level meter is still reading something. It's still feeding the level meter, so I can see how much gain I have getting to the amp. And what I do is I turn this level up until I start to see myself getting into the low, uh, low red LEDs. Kind of like an old vintage channel strip in that way. Uh, you can get into the red before you hear any distortion. Um, at that point, I'm in pretty good shape. The problem is that if you look at this control, it's like three quarters of the way up. So I'm getting all of my gain from this one stage. Uh, and I can maximize my noise performance by backing that off some and disengaging the pad. It gives me about another 10 dB before I even get to this stage. It makes this more sensitive, and I only have to turn it up about halfway to get to that place where I want to be. So theoretically, you could just go ahead and start playing now. You could just unmute the thing and start playing your bass, and you'd have a good gain structure. But you'll probably want to use some EQ to shape your tone. And when you adjust the EQ controls, particularly if you're adding let's say bass for example, if I turn the bass control up you'll see that my overall level goes way up and if I turn the bass control down now it's very quiet. So we'll have to compensate for whatever EQ adjustments we make after we do it. So I like to back down the input gain a little bit to give myself some room to grow, make my adjustments on the EQ as I like them, maybe add a little of this, maybe add some of that, take away a little bit of this, and then readjust my level. So now, as you'll see, this level's not, this knob is not turned up as far as it was, and I'm hitting the bottom couple of red LEDs. At this point, I've got a good gain structure. I can use the master control to set my stage volume, and off I go. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.